All right, got a 2018 Chevy Cruze with the 1.4 liter turbo over here. And we're gonna make a quick little video. Um, it might get a little confusing. I'm trying to piece this backwards, so I'm just giving y'all a warning now. Um, I've already taken off most of this. Um, I didn't realize that this was actually a problem until every dealer we called seemed to have three of these in stock. So I'm thinking these might actually go out. What we have here is the intercooler charge pipe. I see how mine hit the AC compressor and tore a hole in it. Um, that's because this one was in a front end collision and we rebuilt it. So we moved it back. It clears fine now. Um, but this is the pipe already off. We're going to put the new one on. I'll show you how you do it as we go. Um, you want to start on the top side typically so apparently this little like pcv valve right here this little plastic hose is a one-time install i don't know how accurate that is but i don't know how to take it off so i'm working around it so if you look way down here it comes with this uh end piece here with the seal so what we're going to do is we're going to get this little clip off so you can literally just push these tabs with your fingers and as long as you can get it the right way you should be able to get it all the way out and unseated so you see I'm working these both ways. I'm gonna use both hands and I'm gonna put both my hands down here and try and spread it and get it off and then the pipe will just slide off that way. All right, so once you wiggle that clip off, it'll literally just press off. I use a little pick stick and just push it off that end. Once you got the upper side off, you're gonna wanna go underneath the car. So we're gonna raise it up and then I'll show you what to do under there. All right, once you get underneath, you get this plastic piece here. I've already removed it, I just have it set up here. It's gonna have seven mils all down on both sides and there's one like kind of secret one up in this hole that holds it to this like bracket up here so once you do that i have one that's stuck and stripped out so i'm just gonna tilt it over and hang it but once you do that you get that out of your way you can access the bottom side of the pipe here um it's slightly different let me grab the new one so to remove it it's got this clip that holds the other clip in place so you pop that off and then same deal there's like two little tabs that you're gonna separate and get that clip off and pop it off. So we'll fish this up in the hole and then we will click it. I should probably get the piece I dropped out. They're pretty proud of these hoses too. This thing was like $179 or something. 200 he says. And there we go. So we're lined up up top, coming in the bottom. You just press it till it clicks. Ugh. That's not clicked on yet. I'm gonna take two hands to do this. So I'll get that one clicked on and then we'll go up top and get the top one clicked on. All right, once I got it kind of going up on the top side, I came back down here and was able to just reach up and grab it and click it right on. And after confirmation, indeed that PCV line is one time use only. You're supposed to break it to get it off. All right, gonna lower the car down, see if this fixes the problem. I'm gonna button this back up and let's see how it looks. All right, so let's take a gander here. I can already tell that in our case, this solved our problem um, because it's idling good. So it had a little struggle of an idle, but you'll see the codes we were after was P101, which was mass airflow performance. We have engine under boost, which is a P0299. And we have an intake airflow system performance, a P1101, which is what was the first code that came out. So we're gonna go ahead and clear these out. Now we have no check engine light. And we're gonna go give her a drive and make sure she stays that way, but everything seems to be good to go, boys. Um, I have one other thing to show you if you just have that P1101 code. Um, here at the engine bay, uh, this is the first thing I found, this, PCV one time use line, this plastic had a crack down the side of it, so it was also letting air in. Uh, so we replaced that first, still got the code, and I realized that giant hole was in that charge pipe. So this is good to go. Um, again, I don't know why they stock so many of these. I'm assuming that those seals must be going out because I have plenty of clearance to the, alter, or to the AC compressor. So this one clearly hit because of the collision. Um, but yeah. Uh, I will put a link to the part in the description if you need one and hit the thumbs up if you like the video.